Hey, Joe Mastriano, CPA, over 40 years and thousands of successful IRS tax cases. Today's video is don't file your tax return. Okay? Too many people, I see this year after year, they depend on their refund to pay their mortgage or rent or car payment, uh, which is crazy um, because you may not even have a refund. And so now you got to go to some tax preparer who's willing to put down phony deductions or leave out some income that you had and try to twist the rules and tell you to keep your fingers crossed and you probably won't be audited just so they can fudge the numbers. These people know little about, very little about how the IRS looks at returns and what information they have on you. I mean, they shouldn't even be doing your return without the wage and income transcript in the first place. So here's what needs to happen. Your taxes are due. Your taxes have been due. January 15th was the fourth quarter's estimate date. So if you don't have enough withholding, then January 15th was the last time to make your estimate. It's now February. So if you owe taxes, they're late. If you're lucky, you'll meet one of the exemptions to penalties and you won't have a penalty. If you're in a payment plan, um, you, you risk breaking that agreement because technically you did. Now, the important thing this year is to make sure you're not audited. I have a four-part checklist, and I'll give it to you very quickly for free in this video. Number one, file an extension. Number two, get your wage and income transcript. You have to know what the IRS has on you, and that information must be put separately on your return so you don't fail the matching program. Now, a lot of people are going to make changes to the W-2s and 1099s because that month grace period they took away from you this year. The originals had to be sent to the Social Security Administration. Um, those are the W-2s, 1099s to the IRS. And if you have any corrections, they have to correct those reports, which means the IRS and Social Security Administration will get backed up. And by the time you do your return, those corrections may not have been made. And you're going to get a letter saying that those numbers don't match. But more importantly, if you get audited, they can audit the year before and the year after. And most tax preparers do not understand and they can't tell you exactly what auditors look for to defend the items on your return. So what I tell my clients is let's wait to August, September when the wage and income transcripts settle before we send the tax return in, match it up. Then there's explanations of items to put on there. And when you e-file, um, you have to do a separate PDF and they make it hard. And a lot of people need paper returns anyway because you want to put extended explanations to have the IRS understand that you know the code and the regs and you have all the backup evidence as they require so they can leave your return alone and go after somebody else. Whenever I use my four-part checklist, not one person to this day do I know of that's been audited. So you're crazy if you want to do your return now. It's not worth the risk. It's my opinion that this current administration is going to try to suck every dollar that they can out of taxpayers. I've seen some of it already, but not enough to make a conclusion. I've, I've got a few audits I'm working with, and I'll tell you, they don't even want to accept um, the correct evidence. Uh, they'll just try to browbeat you and tell you that um, they don't accept it. And if you don't like it, file an appeal. I've got some issues that I'm taking up on two of the audits right now with the managers. We'll see how that goes. But I'm doing a lot of podcasts now, and I'm trying to warn everybody uh, about this. Uh, I'm not a guy in the diner about this. I've done this for decades. 
I know several people at the IRS. I know how they operate. And I'll keep telling you till I'm blue in the face. Um, you're crazy if you don't wait till the uh, wage and income transcript settles. And if you don't go to a professional, a CPA or an attorney or an enrolled agent who's actually going to do the return, then what you're paying for is just somebody to go into a tax program. And, you know, some of these programs, there's pictures of a W-2 and they fill in the information and then they move the screen. There's pictures of 1099s and other things. And all they're doing is filling out the form. They're not really preparing tax returns. And then they clear the alerts and they think everything's okay. In fact, when you e-file, you've got to put all that information in the payer's name, address, ID number, as well as your name, address, ID number, and amounts. And brokerage statements have to be exact. So many things that they spend so much time administratively meeting the rules that no time is being spent to consider the tax rules as it applies to your information. Uh, I see that many times every year when people bring me their returns. So the purpose of this video is to warn you that, well, you should go to my YouTube channel. Uh, these are live videos that I do. It's in the live section or on my Facebook account on the Killer IRS CPA and learn what I have in these videos so that you don't make these mistakes. Um, I've got people that I do audit representations for or tax cases for that if they would take a little bit of precaution in the beginning, uh, I don't care if you like taxes or not, you know, I don't like certain things, but I do it anyway because I know it's going to be detrimental if I don't do it. And I'm telling you, it's going to be very detrimental to you because you're going to get that $50,000, $80,000 tax bill. And you're going to try to blame your preparer or blame the IRS. Or you're going to want to join some company that says, you know, taxes are unconstitutional and nonsense like that. Um, just get it through your head that you have to file and pay your taxes uh, or the government will take care of you, meaning they'll charge you all kinds of fraud penalties. And if they have a reason to put you in jail, they can do that. They don't do that often or often enough, really. So if you don't want to overpay and worry and you don't want to overpay by uh, not getting the deductions you're entitled to, then you need to have a professional do your return. And Robin here does returns. Um, she spent a decade doing it. Uh, she's an accountant. She's done CFO work. Um, and she understands the tax law, like really understands it. And so if there's any deductions or things or credits that we can get for you, uh, we will, and we can order proof your return to, um, but the best way to order proof it is not to file it till the end of the extension date. That's like the fourth item on my list. And I don't know anybody really who filed about three days before the October 15th extension deadline that was audited. As always, if you want more information, call Stephanie, 713-774-4467. Set up a consultation with me personally. It's money well spent. You, I could potentially save you tens of thousands of dollars, or even if I only save you two or $3,000, but you have the information going forward to prevent audits. Who's to say how much that's worth? Thank you.